Hi guys, it's really lovely to welcome you back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you a recipe for tiramisu layered cake. And it's not going to be exactly tiramisu, but I am going to use the most important ingredients and flavors that goes into tiramisu. So I'm sure you are going to enjoy it as well. So I am going to start with sieving my dry ingredients. And I am going to use 3 4 a cup of cake flour. And I don't use cake flour very often, but in this recipe it is very important to use cake flour since we need a very fluffy cake without using any raisin agents. So, 3 fourths cup of cake flour goes in and I need 1 fourth cup of cornstarch. Um, usually there is uh, potato starch in this recipe but it doesn't make any difference, so today I'm using cornstarch and a pinch of salt. So we are going to sieve that in. So here are my flowers. Now we need to separate our eggs and I'm using 5 eggs room temperature and I need to separate egg whites from egg yolks. And when our eggs are separated, we can move over to the stand mixer. In the bowl of stand mixer, I have my egg whites. I'm gonna use balloon whisk to whip them to the stiff peak. And when they'll start to get foamy, I'm going to add 3 a cup of caster sugar, a little by little. As you can see my egg white started turning white and foamy and now it's the time when I'm going to start adding my sugar. And here are my lovely whipped egg whites. I've whipped them to the stiff peak as you can see they are holding really nicely and now is the time when I'm going to add my egg yolks and I'm going to do it one by one again and mix on low speed amazing foam mixture and I am just going to use the whisk to scrape everything from the sides make sure that the egg yolks are incorporated evenly into my foam and now we are ready to add our flour and to add my flour I am actually going to use spatula and add the flour in three steps three equal parts. The foam will deflate a little bit so don't worry too much about it. Be gentle but work fast as well because eggs will deflate in time anyway so you want to be gentle but fast as well. And the sponge that I'm making is the kind of sponge that we will call sponge in Poland, so um, it's very similar to Genoese sponge with a texture, but I think it is a little bit easier to prepare and for me it's not as stressful as the Victoria sponge, for example. So don't be intimidated by it, just try and you'll see that it will come together perfectly. My butter is done. Now I'm going to transfer it to the pan. And I always tell you to grease your pan sides and bottom, but 
It's not the type of cake that you want to use grease pan, but you want to layer the bottom with parchment paper. But as you can see, the sides of my pan are clean and this will help to rise our cake and not fall after baking. And I'm using 22 centimeters pan today. My cake's in. I'm going to level it a little bit. Give it a little tap tap and I am going to bake it in 170 oven for about half an hour until the top is nice and golden brown. All the skewer inserted in it comes clean. And as you can see my cake is nicely baked and risen really nicely and now it's called throne cake so we are going to drop it and I don't know if it does anything to be fair but I've been told to do it and my cakes come out perfectly every time after doing it so I'm doing it and what it's supposed to do it's supposed to stop the cake from sinking so after dropping it it's supposed to sink as much as it would and then it won't sink anymore and after doing it I am going to let my cake cool completely in the pan on a cooling rack but in the pan and I will see you when the cake is cooled and so my cake is now completely cool. I'm going to release it from the pan using my spatula. I think it's the best way to don't scratch your pan and release your cake. So just run your spatula around. Turn your cake over and here is our cake. Now I'm going to cut it to make three layers out of it try to make them as even as possible. I'm going to use long serrated knife. You can use cake cutter if you have one, but with this cake I really do prefer using just sharp long knife. Just move your cake around and cut. And here's how our sponge looks inside, really nice and fluffy and soft. Let's finish cutting. So my cake is cut and now I'm going to show you how to prepare cream and of course clean a little bit after cutting the cake. And now it's time for preparing our cream. So to do it, I'm going to need 500 grams of full fat mascarpone cheese. And 500 milliliters of double cream. I'm also going to add one third of a cup of powdered sugar and a teaspoon of vanilla bean paste. You can use vanilla extract but I like the little speckles of vanilla inside so that's why I'm using paste. And we can mix now, whip it until it's nicely combined. Nice and fluffy but not over whipped because then you're gonna end up with butter. I'm 
that's how our whipped mascarpone looks like. Let me scrape everything with the spatula. And now we are ready to assemble our cake. So let's assemble. I am going to squeeze just a little bit of my cream in the middle of a plate to hold the bottom of my cake. And I need to soak my cake first. And in the jug I have 3 4 cups of black coffee and that's been cooled and to it I've added one fourth cup of amaretto liquor. You could also use Marsala wine, which is I think the first choice when making tiramisu, but you could also use amaretto like me or you could use dark rum or coffee liquor that would also work really really nicely. So I'm going to soak my first layer do it gently by tapping and here is how I like to decorate my cake so I have all of my cream in the piping bag ended with a medium round tip and I like to start by squeezing out firstly dots just like that all around the cake So when the ring is done of the dots, I am going to go all around doing this motion to fill the rest of my cake. And now here is the first layer of cake. I am going to do exactly with the second layer. And now is the time for the last layer and I'm going to soak it just as I've soaked all the other layers. The only difference between the layers is that I'm going to cover the top of the cake all over with the tiny dots of cream instead of doing the swirl. So my cake is now all covered with the cream and there's just one last thing to do and it's a sprinkling of cocoa and if you're doing this cake in advance leave the cocoa sprinkling to the last minute because it will sink into the cream here it is and well I could not end without showing you the inside so let's just cut into it so here is my ready cake and here is how it looks inside as you can see it's lovely, fluffy, spongy, everything you want from a good cake. So go ahead, make it yourself and I'm sure you won't regret it. See you in the next video. Bye!